Is this thing even working? Hey, what's up guys? <coughs> <coughs> Sorry, I got a bit of a sore throat and a cough. Don't worry, I'll cut out all the parts of the video where I cough so you guys don't have to see it, alright? <coughs> Oh man, do you know the feeling where you're in a lecture, right? You're in a lecture hall with like 50 other people and you start coughing. It's so awkward and it's so... Ugh. Anyway, let me ask you guys a question. Do you guys know what it's like to be called socially awkward? If you do... I feel you, bro. If you don't, then let me tell you. It's not fun. It is not fun, man. You wanna know how it feels like? You know that iconic Naruto scene where he's just like sitting on the swing and everyone else is like bad-mouthing him behind his back? Yeah, that's, that's practically how it feels like to be socially awkward. Welcome to my life, bros. So why is it that certain people call me socially awkward? Why is anyone called socially awkward? Let's define the term socially awkward, yeah? Alright, if you go to Google and you type in socially awkward in the search box, the first thing you're gonna get is probably a link from WikiHow. And WikiHow defines social awkwardness as a sense of not appearing normal or socially clued in under the glare of others. It's something like peer pressure, but instead of your friends, it's society that you're being awkward about. So yeah, that's social awkwardness for you. Ever since I was young, I was always too serious, too straightforward, and I had this no-nonsense attitude towards everything. I hardly smiled. And because of that, people made fun of me. I also didn't have many friends when I was young, so I had a lot of trouble communicating and conversing with people. There was this one time, right? Someone asked me, do you like dogs? And guess what I did? I didn't answer him. I stared up at the ceiling instead. Similarly, my school teachers asked me a couple of things like, you know, school-based stuff or personal development kind of stuff. But I didn't answer them. All I did was roll my eyeballs to the sky. Until this day, I still don't know why is it that I did all that when people tried to talk to me. I don't know why. I also don't know how to speak Chinese. Funny, huh? It's embarrassing, but it's true. So people took advantage of that. People assumed that I couldn't understand what they were saying, even though I could understand them to a certain extent. The thing is that I just can't say stuff in Chinese. I can understand it, but I can't say it because it would sound weird, you know? Trust me, I tried. And you really don't want to hear me speak in Chinese. You're gonna die of laughter, I tell you. I'm telling you first. Hey, it's that guy who looks Chinese and is definitely Chinese, but can't speak Chinese. That's so funny, right? Like, how weird is that? Some Chinese that, that doesn't even speak his own mother tongue. It's not just me. There are other people who can't speak their own mother tongue and it's not a laughing matter. They are in serious pain. I am in serious pain for not being, being able to speak my own mother tongue and it hurts. It hurts my pride to be a Chinese that can't speak Chinese and I am trying to learn. It's just not easy when you're not, you know, you're not young. When you're young, you're like a sponge. You can absorb like all the languages but now it's like... <coughs> but for me, I'm kind of grateful that my parents decided not to teach me Chinese because then I could focus more on my English, you know. As of now, right now, I can speak like basic level Mandarin, you know, like just just the surface. If you want to compare me with my other Chinese speaking friends, right? It's kind of like comparing a small toy pistol with a machine gun. That's the difference. Okay, back to the topic of social awkwardness. I'm pretty sure I'm not alone, but I am not very comfortable with people from the opposite sex. In other words, I don't know how to talk to girls. I'm pretty sure I've let a lot of girls down, you know, because they're probably expecting to like have a nice regular conversation with me. But what they get instead is I, I I don't even know. To all the girls that I've talked to, I am so sorry if I said anything stupid or weird to you, alright? I mean, I don't even know how to go clubbing properly. Like, I turn up at the club, sober, not even tipsy, you know? Wearing something completely different from what everyone else is wearing. Then I start walking around idly, looking for my friends. And then when I find them, I just start dancing. And when I mean dancing, I mean putting my arms in the air and flailing them around like an idiot. I mean, come on, no one ever taught me how to dance. And speaking of clubs, I'm always so afraid of touching girls. Even if it's a club, you know? Like, I see all the guys doing it, they're like, just like, holding them and like, ah, How the heck are you doing that? How? Huh? Maybe it's just my mindset, you know? It's like, you know, my parents said, Andrew, you don't touch girls, ah. Huh? You don't be naughty, ah. Huh? If you try and touch any girl, so I'll come and rot on you. 
But yeah, bottom line is, I'm just a quiet, shy person, you know? And that's probably not gonna change much. That's who I am after all. That's a result of everything I've been through for the past 20 years of my life. I may be awkward in certain social situations, but as long as I don't, like, you know, ignore people's questions and stare up into the sky, then I don't see what's wrong, I should be fine. If you talk to me, then I'll talk back to you. If you don't talk to me, then I'll probably not talk to you unless I have something to say. I'll only say stuff when I really have to say something. But if not, then I'm just a regular quiet guy that isn't as talkative as other people. This is my friend's horse mask by the way. Sorry if I kind of scared you with it. I have a group of really awesome friends here. That's where I, you know, borrowed this horse mask from. My, my friend here. Yep. Vlogging ah. <laughs> oh wow, you might do have a horse mask in there. I want to use the horse mask for some Ooh. point. Okay. Hey, just the camera, you want to say hi? Hi. <laughs> I just woke up now, I'm going back to bed. Bye. An awesome guy right there. Yeah. Thanks, dude. <laughs> And so here's a tribute that I made for my friends here in Leeds. To my friends in the tribute, I hope you won't hate me for this, haha. -ha. Peace and love, no hate, please and thanks, K-bye. And finally, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys real soon. Okay, bye! Good evening, everybody. I love Buzz Lightyear. Going fake and beyond. Oh, you have background music. You want music? We can have music for you. What music you want? Yeah, it's funny. It's like real comedy shots in New York. Radio active. Radio active. Oh shit. Where is her? What the fuck? That's Cha Cha. That's Peru. Who's this? This is Sean. And this is Billy. And this is Christina. Aloha. <laughs> Why is he recording? Why are you recording? Yeah. Why am I recording? Why are you recording my pretty face? Yeah, it's so pretty. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, let me zoom in. Oh, she <laughs> 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 These are the ones that are natural and naturally designed artificial and Let's watch them for a couple of minutes. As you can see, they like to laugh for no particular reason. They love to ignore people like me, which is good in a way, I guess. Why don't you try and interact with them? Let's try it. Hi. They appear to be non-responsive. <laughs> Is there a purpose to this? Yeah. Wait, well, so the document I'm first Yes. Yes. And this okay. is the and this is the initial stage. This is the initial stage, making rice and keeping it in the fridge. Yeah, he didn't even cook the rice. First you open the fridge, yeah. take the said rice, put it anywhere inside the fridge, close the fridge. This is the part where you cut it to next. Ah, next. Alright, let's wait for tomorrow. You ask for you then. <laughs> I hate you so much right now. <laughs> How to do a backhand? It's all in the wrist. It's a flick, not a throw with your arm kind of thing. So, you see me, how I do it. <laughs> and that's how you do it. How you're supposed to catch it is something else. <laughs>